Well, earlier this week, we told you how an increased number of crashes in Aurora is keeping police busy. It also has Aurora Fire Rescue on constant calls. They need more paramedics. As Troy Mason explains, a local hospital is helping them reach their goal. Learning to provide medical care is part of becoming a firefighter, but advancing those skills can be tough, especially with their demanding schedules. UC Health is training them so they can better respond to you. It's intense, it's crazy, but it's kind of like being back in college again. But what Jonathan learns here can save a person's life. Aurora Fire has 100 people in line to advance their medic skills. According to Commander Hayes, their community needs them. In the fire industry right now, um, probably 78 to 80 percent of our calls are medical calls. AFR and UC Health are teaming up to train the next generation of paramedics. They're getting hands-on experience at a top-tier hospital and learning what happens after they drop a patient off. Well, getting up into those other service lines within the hospital gives you a fuller picture of their medical treatment and their outcomes. UC Health work with fire to accommodate their 24 hour shifts. In the past, schedules kept training out of reach. And there is a shortage of paramedics and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to build the school so we can help fill that void for the community. After a few tries myself, I was more than grateful for the work they're putting in. They're sacrificing an awful lot to better themselves to provide that better level, higher level of service to the community as if running toward flames weren't enough. Just further ourselves in our career and, and be kind of the best people we can be. UC Health will train a variety of responders. They're currently planning cohorts with EMTs and flight medics. For more information on how to become a paramedic, visit cbscolorado.com. Reporting in Aurora, I'm Tori Mason. Covering